Hello there. My name is Dr. Bill Crawford. I'm a psychologist, founder of Crawford Performance Solutions, and I've created this short video to give you a sense of who I am, what I have to offer as a speaker, so that you can determine whether I would be a good fit for your next event and or to come create a training for those within your organization. Now, the traditional way of doing that would be for me to go on and on about the fact that I've got 26 years experience, I've written four books, I've done two PBS specials, but frankly, you can read all about that in my bio, and I know you're busy. Now, I want to do just two quick things. Number one, talk for a moment about what I've learned over the past 26 years, and most importantly, what it can do for you, or how it might add value to your next event and or to those within your organization. What I've learned is today's professionals are looking for solutions. They don't want to hear just a lot of cute stories or a lot of motivational cliches, and they certainly don't want to hear the same old tired information they've been hearing from speakers for years. They want new information, new solutions that they can apply to the problems they face on a daily basis. Whether that's dealing with stress or keeping people from jerking their chain or becoming more productive, becoming a more effective leader, whatever it is, today's audiences want cutting edge information delivered by a credentialed, engaging speaker who knows what he's talking about. That's why I've spent the last 26 years of my life getting a PhD in psychology, honing my speaking skills, and learning everything I can about how people solve problems. Because I want to give today's professionals something they can't get anywhere else. And here's what it is. I've discovered that everything we think and feel and do and say is controlled by how our brain processes information. And therefore, if we want to solve today's problems, deal with stress, manage difficult people, become a more effective leader, we've got to be able to access that clear, confident, creative part of the brain while uh, avoiding that stressed, frustrated, worried part of the brain regardless of the situation. Let me show you what I mean. Most people have heard one time or another that uh, we've got three different parts of the brain. Lower part of the brain is called the brainstem. This is where our fight or flight responses are located. It's the part of the brain that regulates a muscle tension, heart rate, blood pressure, etc. Middle part of the brain is called the limbic system. This is a very interesting part of the brain. It acts like a gatekeeper, almost like a scanner and a router, where it scans incoming information and routes it either down to the brainstem or up to the upper 80% of the brain, the neocortex, where we have access to our clarity, confidence, creativity, etc. So again, let me show you what this looks like. Data comes in from our five senses, and it is first scanned by the limbic system. If the limbic system doesn't see a problem, got a remote here in my hand, no problem, sends the data on up to the neocortex, brainstem works in the background, regulating breathing, muscle tension, blood pressure, everything's fine. But if the limbic system senses anything or anyone it doesn't like, anything or anyone it has determined to be a stressor or a problem or a threat of any kind, it sends the data immediately down to the brainstem by passing the neocortex. Now, at this point, the brainstem can only do two things, fight or fly, which means blood pressure goes up, muscle tension goes up, heart rate goes up. We get ready to strike out or withdraw that fight or flight response you've heard so much about. In the latest brain research, it's actually called downshifting because it happens so quickly. And if you've read any of uh, Daniel Goleman's work on emotional intelligence, he calls this neural hijacking. But regardless of what it's called, what we need to know is that we are engaging this lower 20% of the brain that actually keeps us from being effective in situations that we face on a daily basis. Now, in a fight or flight situation, this is exactly what we want to happen. I mean, if you're walking down the street and somebody jumps out at you from the bushes, you don't, don't want to have to stand there and go, hmm, somebody just jumped out at me from the bushes. Wonder what I should do, you know? Hit them, run away, do something in a fight or flight situation. We don't want to have to think about the response, and therefore, this is the perfect part of the brain to engage. The problem is, and the reason people are so stressed and so frustrated, is that without really knowing it, we've been engaging this lower fight or flight part of the brain in non fight or flight situations. Now, what people also don't know is this blood pressure, muscle tension, heart rate are actually triggered by certain chemicals, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol for the most part. 
these chemicals then manifest themselves. Stress, frustration, anger, apathy. And if that just happened every once in a while, that wouldn't be a problem. But have you noticed there's so much stress today that people are engaging this lower part of the brain all the time, trying to deal with life from this perspective. And when we try to deal with difficult people, difficult situations from this lower 20% of the brain, we're just not very effective because that part of the brain isn't designed to deal with those kind of situations which means we become more stressed and we become more frustrated. We become more anxious. The limbic system goes, aha, more negative data sends it right back down to the lower part of the brain. We become trapped in this brainstem experience having no clue what's going on and certainly no clue about what to do about it. That's why I have spent the last 26 years of my life creating a system that is designed to show people what's going on and what to do about it or more specifically, how to know when we're trapped in this lower 20% of the brain and actually how to shift up to this upper 80% of the brain where our qualities and characteristics we need to succeed reside. I call this three-part system life from the top of the mind. And it's again all about being able to access our best regardless of the situation. Let me give you just a little less technical explanation around this. Basically, what we're wanting to do is access this upper 80% of the brain because this is where the qualities and characteristics we need to succeed uh, can be accessed. Our ability to make plans, our ability to choose language others can understand, solve problems, our judgment, our clarity, confidence, creativity, all come from this upper 80% of the brain. And when we're in this upper 80% of the brain, limbic system, brainstem, work very nicely in the background, regulating breathing, muscle tension, blood pressure, everything's fine. Remember, the problem happens is when this lower part of the brain perceives life or the situations we deal with on a daily basis as problems. Uh, deadlines, deadbeats, in-laws, outlaws, babies, bosses, all the things that we would say are problems, when this lower part of the brain perceives them that way, it engages that lower part of the brain and if you'll notice, numbs the upper 80%. That's why if you've ever tried to give data or be rational with someone who's upset or resistant to whatever you're trying to say, or God forget, forbid, try to calm them down. Calm down, don't tell me. See, this part of the brain does not want to calm down. This part of the brain does not want to listen. It wants to react. And remember those reactions, stress, frustration, anger, very common, very understandable. We can see it every day in ourselves and others. And again, the problem is when we try to deal with life from this perspective, life gets worse. Deadlines become more problematic. Difficult people become more difficult. All the situations we deal with on a daily basis become more problematic. The limbic system sees that as more de negative data, sends it right back down to the brain stem, and again, we are trapped in this lower 20% of the brain, having no clue what's going on. So what we need is a new perspective on life a way to access our best regardless of the situation by learning this new information. And not just our judgment, not just our clarity, not just our intelligence, but our compassion, our ability to care for ourselves and others. See, this isn't just an intellectual model. What I've done in order to make this more accessible, more understandable, is put it in the form of a roadmap. Basically a three-part system that takes us from where we are, stuck in that lower 20% of the brain, to where we want to be. Part one is a behavioral model that shows you how to shift from that lower 20% of the brain to the upper 80% of the brain and change the chemical makeup of your body from adrenaline, norgeon, and cortisol to serotonin and endorphins. This is a behavioral model you can do anywhere, anytime, takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Now this is good, but we don't want to stop there because if we stop there, when you went back into the difficult situation, you'd fall back into the brainstem and that wouldn't be good. So I've created part two of this system that is designed to show us how to stay in this upper 80% of the brain and apply the qualities and characteristics that we can access up there to all aspects of life. Here's where I bring in my C-cubed model, clarity, confidence, creativity because we have to have clarity about what's going on before we can go into any situations with confidence and react to whatever goes on creatively. Now, this is good, but it doesn't show you how to deal with people. That's why I've brought in part three. Now, I call this 
graduate school because, you know, this is kind of tough here, right? I mean, it's one thing to deal with a deadline or a printer or traffic. It's another thing when somebody is right in your face. So I've created another five-step model that is designed to show you how to engage other people who may be either upset with you or resistant to what you're saying, how to engage them in a way where they shift from that resistant brain to that receptive brain so they actually hear and value what you're saying. This is what I've learned. Let's talk a little bit about what it can do for you. The beauty of this new information, these new solutions, is that it allows me to bring new information to your colleagues. And it frankly, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference what they're dealing with. I mean, if, if they're dealing with stress, if they've told you, man, we want to well, we learn how to manage stress, if we want to become more productive, time management, whatever they want in this particular aspect, I can show them why being stuck in that lower 20% of the brain actually makes those situations worse and how the solutions are found in that upper part of the brain and, of course, give them tools to access that. If it's about dealing with people, it's about, if it's about leadership, uh, diff difficult people, becoming more persuasive, more influential, I can show your colleagues how to engage another person so that that person shifts from that, recept um, that resistant brain to that receptive brain and hears what your colleagues are wanting them to hear. Regardless of the theme or the issue or what you're wanting your people to get, in order for them to be able to access those qualities and characteristics and bring that to life on a consistent basis, they have to understand how the brain processes information. So it allows me to, to speak to just a wide variety of concepts and themes to conferences or a wide variety of outcomes in terms of training. This is what I've done and this is what people tell me in terms of this framework that they love. Because finally someone has given them uh, new information, hard science, not just soft skills, that help them understand what's going on. Finally someone's given them a complete system that allows them to become more productive, uh, communicate better with their colleagues, basically become more influential in their lives and in the lives of others. That's what I'll teach when I come to speak at your next event and or to come create a training for those within your organization. The one secret that people need to know so that they finally understand what's been holding them back. The one piece of information that allows them to become more productive, become more influential with their colleagues, basically finally solve the problems they've been wrestling with for so long. That one piece of information, that one secret that we all need to know is that we can't solve the problems we face on a daily basis unless we're coming from the top of the mind, unless we're able to understand how the brain processes information and shift to the part of the brain where solutions reside. This is what I teach when I go out and speak to people at events and to create trainings within or your organizations. If you believe this would be valuable for your colleagues at your event, at your organization, I encourage you to contact me. You can call me at toll-free at 1-888-530-8550, or you can shoot me an email, drbill at billcphd.com. Or you can just go, if you want, you can just go to my website and you can contact me there. You can also learn more information about me, see me presenting more videos. And by the way, if you forget all that, all you got to do is Google Bill Crawford Speaker and I promise you I'll show up on the first page of Google. I hope this has been valuable for you. I wanted to bring you this new information and also let you know that I understand that information like this has to be presented in a way that is both engaging and enjoyable. That's why I bring a lot of humor and a lot of energy to all of my presentations. So much so that people tell me that I remind them of Steve Martin. <laughs> now, I think it's a gray hair, but regardless, I always take it as a compliment because I know that means they've been entertained as well as informed. If you see this as valuable for your organization, I really encourage you to contact me. Let's talk about what you're wanting from a speaker at your next event, what you're wanting your colleagues at your organization to get, and I'll show you how to take this new information, create solutions, and present it in a way that your people will be raving about.
If you find this valuable, contact me now. If you have a date, let me know. I can put that date on hold. That way, no other person will get your date. It's just important that you call me now, contact me now, send me an email so that we can begin this process. I hope this has been valuable. I looking, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Go do that now. Thanks.